here tonight to introduce Alice Walker, and I, I feel myself to be, um, and I think many of the women here, we feel ourselves to be Alice's uh, spiritual and creative and literary daughters. And so, it's a real honor to be here. I'm joined by tap dancer Melissa Frackman. And I believe that everything can be done artistically. So my introduction is a poetic introduction. And I'm pleased to share it with you all. The Furious Dance, an occasional poem in celebration of Alice Walker and her book of poetry, Hard Times Require Furious Dancing. Can you all hear me in the back? Yeah. Can you hear me? I know it's loud. And I'd like to just ask if people would mind lowering their voices for a few moments. Because this is just poetry a cappella. So I, I really appreciate your silence. Thank you so much. What is a furious dance? It is not polite. Does not shuck and jive or shuffle along. It is not beige. It is bold. In your face, ready for revolution. A solidarity of the body. A rhetoric of rhythm. A furious dance is the knowing that despite the opposition's best efforts to suppress, deny, we will shake off our oppression and stamp it into the dust with our furiously dancing feet. Are you furious in your peacemaking, in your pleasure making, your life giving and living? the sun and give thanks each day. We must be furious, like our sister Alice. Her words cutting through the tepid tea parties, the sleight of hand and misdirection of pundits, politicos, and profit mongers. She speaks truth, sings peace in her garden of words, fingers coaxing nourishment from the earth's fertile being. Alice, the eighth and last child of Willie Lee Walker and Minnie Lou Tabula Grant Walker. Royalty of the rural peasantry. From Red Clay, Georgia, this daughter, sister, mother, bearer of magic talismans, a suitcase a sewing machine, a typewriter. Walker, she who makes inroads from dirt roads, who cuts new paths wherever her feet take her. Spelman to Sarah Lawrence, New York City to Mississippi, Gaza and Washington, D.C. of our mother's gardens, only to discover that we are the ones we have been waiting for. We praise her for teaching a generation of women the difference between lavender and purple. Walker has given us more than four decades of catalytic language. 
beginning with the book of poems in 1967, once. Gathering into the global phenomenon that is the color purple, and arriving some 30 books later here, to hard times require Thank you. 